Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows a case of pyelonephritis with multiple stones in a patient aged about 26 years. Now you can see the right kidney and it shows moderate to severe hydronephrosis with pus seen in, in the pelvic ulcerous system. Multiple stones are also seen. Kidney infection, pyelonephritis, is a type of urinary tract infection, UTI, that generally begins in the, in the urethra or bladder and travels to one or both of the kidneys. A kidney infection requires prompt medical attention. You can see the pyelonephritis. The classical presentation in acute pyelonephritis is tired of fever, costovertebral angle pain, and nausea and are vomiting. These may not all be present, however, or they may not occur together temporarily. Symptoms may be minimal to severe and usually develop over hours or over the course of a day. Frequent painful urination, backside pain under the ribs and groin pain, chills and high grade fever, nausea and vomiting are seen. Unitact infection is an inflammation of the bladder and or kidneys almost always caused by bacteria that moves up the urethra and into the bladder. If the bacteria stay in the bladder, this is a bladder infection. If the, the bacteria goes up to the kidney, it is called a kidney infection or pyelonephritis. Nephritis. Now you can see a large amount of thick sludge in the dilated pelvic ulcerous system. Renal cortical thickness is reduced to its minimum. There is loss of parenchyma, renal parenchyma. So this kidney needs to be analyzed for functional tests are required. A unitract tract infection, and the main cause of acute pyelonephritis is gram-negative bacteria, the most common being Escheria coli. Other gram-negative bacteria which causes acute pyelonephritis include Proteus, Clebsella, and Enterobacter. Now, the preventing pyelonephritis will require some of the tasks that patients should try to adopt. Drink plenty of fluid to increase urination and remove bacteria from the urethra. Urinate after sex to help flush out bacteria. Then wipe, out, wipe from the front to back. Avoid using products that can irritate urethra such as douches or feminine sprays. Two common laboratory tests are performed to diagnose kidney infection. Pyelonephritis, a urine sample is examined under microscope to determine if white or red cells are present. The urine is also sent to lab to see if bacteria grows in a urine culture. So you can see now multiple stones are seen in the left kidney also. Now the signs and symptoms of the kidney infections might include fever, chills, backside, flank or groin pain, abdominal pain, frequent urination, strong persistent urge to urinate, burning sensation or pain when urinating, nausea and vomiting. Now you can see the left kidney seen from the, the patient is in the prone position. You can see the whole length of the renal pelvis is filled with multiple stones. And a large, strong posterior accosting shadow of these stones is visible. So the kidney makes urine, so when the kidneys are falling, failing, the urine may change 
However, you may urinate less often or a smaller amount than usual with dark colored urine. Your, the urine may contain blood. Pain in the pyelonephritis can come and go and it may be continuous. Now you can see a large stone in the urinary bladder. Believe me, I have seen many times these stones, such a large stone. But this is one of these largest stone. You can see the urinary bladder is filled with pus with multiple thick sludge is seen. The urinary bladder is full of pus sludge and a large stone. I wonder how this stone, the urinary bladders can accommodate this type of large stone. You can see and a strong posterior accosting shadow is visible. I feel sorry this, for this patient, but this patient has multiple stones in the kidney, in the, both the kidneys, and the kidney functional tests are being performed to evaluate the kidney function. In the from the laboratory, a renal scan will also be needed. Now you can see the large stone, quite a large stone. I wonder. So the pain and the pyelonephritis can come and go and it may be continuous, it may affect the body or be limited to a specific area, usually under back or arm itching, tends to affect both sides of the body at the same time and may feel internal like crawling feeling just below the skin. Flank pain is a pain in uh, one side of the body between the upper belly area and the back. If you do not have a fever or flank pain, but you do have pain with urination, you may have a bladder infection rather than a kidney infection. Your healthcare provider can help you to determine the diagnosis. Caffeine found in caffeine tea Soda and foods can also place a strain on the kidneys. Caffeine is a stimulant which can cause increased blood flow, blood pressure and stress on the kidneys. Excessive caffeine intake has also been linked to kidney stones. Well, the majority of the patients with pyelonephritis can be discharged from the emergency department. Admission should be considered in the following instances. Unstable Vital signs, for example, persistent tachycardia, hypotension, tachypnea, or signs of septic shock. Researchers repeat that up to half people, the people hospitalized with COVID-19 get an acute kidney injury. This is a sudden case. That is a sudden case of kidney damage, and in some severe cases, kidney failure that happens within hours or days. It causes waste to build up in the blood and can be deadly. Acute pyelonephritis is sudden and severe kidney infection and it causes the kidney to swell and may permanently damage them. So it needs attention both by the patient and the healthcare providers. You can find some important information in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. If you do like this video, please click the like button. Thanks.